Reggie's gonna Reggie's gonna kill me with that with that in the background because I'm gonna be listening to it like Greg, you're supposed to be hosting the show. What? <laughs> Let's go. You can you don't have to meet it. You're good, big Reg. What's going on, everybody? It is night two tailgate, and I'm not just joined by myself and Will, but we got two other people in the stream today. So we're gonna have a great time. Gonna be talking about uh night two. We'll get uh people's thoughts on night one and the fallout from that. So let's get it started. Appreciate all of you guys being there. Happy Sunday. Let's get it going. What is going on, everybody? How are we doing today? Happy Sunday. I am here not only with Will, but Delisha from Aftermath. And I'm here with Big Reg with, from Living with Big Reg and Big Boy Talk. We are here to talk about WrestleMania Night 2. It's going to be a fun time getting you ready getting you ready for Night 2 of WrestleMania later on today. Uh, Delisha, how are you doing today? Welcome. Hey, I'm doing all right. Uh, I'm upset that this um, baby bump won't, won't, won't let me wear my wrestling shirt today. <laughs> so <laughs> when I have the wrestling Phillies today, because I think they have a game today anyway. So it worked. <laughs> all, all good. All good. And welcome. You, last year, you and me did this by ourselves. This year, we got some other people joining us. And one of those other people is Will. How are you doing today, Will? I'm doing great. Thank you for inviting me on once again. Yeah, I'm ready for night two. Sure. Me and Will, last night we're doing uh, the show uh, recapping. We we had kind of, I was supposed to do a uh, tailgate for uh, for night one, but we ended up doing a recap. And it was me and Will last night. Had a great time. And tonight, and then today, he's back. And then I got my man, Big Reg, in the house. What's going on, Big Reg? Yes, sir. Not much, but I'm excited for tonight. I'm excited. I'm ready. Hopefully, for a better night than night one. But I'm I'm ready. Yeah, as long as as long as Jay and Jimmy Uso ain't there, um, and no screens Bats. are being set, we should we should have a good night. <laughs> if you know, you Bats. know. If you know, you know. <laughs> yes, All if right. you know, you know. <laughs> so, real quick, let's keep recap uh, night one. Like I said, uh, Delisha and Reg were not here last night. You know, they were enjoying WrestleMania. So uh, let's get your thoughts, and I'll start with you, Delisha. Obviously, ladies first. Uh, what was your thoughts on night one? You know, what was your favorite match? Uh, what, what match were you disappointed in? We all kind of know that answer. And any other things you want to talk about? Yeah, um, I thought night one was great. Actually, I think it was a very great tone setting for the weekend uh, upcoming. Um, I would say maybe the least favorite match or least disappointing. Um, it went. It, I guess it is Jay versus Jimmy, but not for the reasons for everyone else. Uh, my internet went out as soon as that match started, and so um, and literally did not. We could not get it fixed until um, the video package for the next match was starting. So I still have to watch that match so I can um, recap it on my podcast tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, from what I hear, I didn't miss a lot. So maybe that that wasn't the least favorite part. Um, but yeah, I think my favorite match was probably the six pack challenge because uh, I like I liked all the people involved, and I'm a huge like Pete Dunn fan, so I was really I was kind of rooting for them to win. But it's probably still too early. They just formed the team like three weeks ago, so uh, I, I know it's more than three weeks, but it was probably not it's not their time yet. But really great to see our truth get his WrestleMania moment and get a, another like uh, title. That's not the twenty four seven title, so I'm really happy for them. Hopefully, they can they can hold it for more than like a couple of weeks. Um, maybe an, maybe another not backlash, but I think another, the next PLE after that. So just so you can hold it for a little bit. But yeah, but I think all the matches, the ones that I saw, were pretty solid. Even if I wasn't um, initially excited for them, um, they still put on like really good performances. Which given like all people who were involved yesterday, 
that's not really that surprising. Um, but uh, one, I guess we can, if you want to talk about it, the Sammy versus Gunther, I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't really pulling for Sammy, so to speak. Mm-hmm. I kind of like Gunther being on this like tear still, but the crowd was behind him and the story that they were telling, it fits, so to speak. But, and they, and again, they're not going to put on a bad match. So the match story they were telling in the ring was pretty great. But overall, I really think night one set the tone for Mania to where you're excited for night two, especially for the main event to see how this is all going to pan out. Yeah, for sure. I, I think, uh, I think, yeah, there were some good, um, good matches, some exciting moments. I totally agree with you. The the Sammy match, I actually thought was going to be one of the weakest matches and ended up not being. So I'm very, very happy about that. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I think uh, me and Will said it last night. I think Gunther is going to go on now, move to the main title uh, page, and he'll be a going after one of the titles and possibly, you know, feuding with the you know a Cody Rhodes and things like that. Especially because we got that moment in in uh, Royal Rumble where of uh, them being the last ones. So we'll kind of see where it goes from there. Big Reg, I know you're focused. I know you're looking at what I'm looking at, but night one. How 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 was it for um, you, and what did you enjoy? What did you not enjoy? So, night one. Let me first say this: it was paced terrifically, right? Great pacing. Um, but Jimmy and Jay was the most disappointing for me, and it was because they had the longest and best backstory. And then for the match to turn out the way it turned out was really really disappointing. I wanted to see more from Jimmy. Um, Jay, he did his best to carry the match the best he could. I think that little moment in the middle with the super kicks was kind of, well, now you just make the move look weak. So that was kind of a bad part to put in there. But <clears throat> outside of that, the show was actually pretty good. I have no no real issue with the show. Um, I love Gunther and Sammy. That was my favorite match of the night. Those guys, as I think I said it to you last night, they should have got more time because they, mm-hmm. we know they can tear the house down. Like, we know what they did in NXT. So, you go from that. The main event, obviously, we'll probably have more conversation about that. The main event was really good. Started off really slow. I think it really turned up once they got into the crowd, which was awesome because it, it Rock took bumps I did not expect him to take. Back. So, so, it was... To see him actually get out there and perform, perform, was absolutely phenomenal. Because I was thinking we were going to get, you know, semi-retired Rock who doesn't really want to risk getting hurt. And so for him to perform the way he did was absolutely awesome. Um, The tag titles, I wish the titles would have both been pulled down at the same time. Mm. Rather than kind of having the SmackDown champs win and then kind of have to just lay there for the remainder of the match. That was kind of messed up to me. But other than that, I'm okay with the people that won. And I think a lot of what's going on on WrestleMania, whether it's tonight or last night, is setting up for an upcoming draft because they should have a draft coming sometime after WrestleMania. So I think that's going to be – so with Gunther losing the title, I think maybe now they're like, okay, either we need you to bring up the prestige of the U.S. title at some point or you're going to be the next World Heavyweight Champion. you know, Or maybe Cody's next challenger. If he can, yeah, I think it. it I, yeah, I could see Cody, or I can see being a feud with Cody, or them because we don't know what's going on with Seth. Like you know, I kind of, I had kind of predicted that Seth was going to uh, get cashed in on last night because of his knee. We know he's dealing with, uh, and me and Ferris were talking about he's dealing with the MCL uh, tear. You know, so it's not yeah. like he's in good, good, you know, good shape. He is not good at all. Um, so yeah. I think that I think that that would that would have been the smartest move, but they didn't do it last night. So we're gonna kind of see where it goes from here and what what they're gonna do exactly um, as far as um, where Gunther's gonna go. Um, I think um, I think you're right. I think I, I especially yes, the the rock taking bumps was definitely a a very. Im- very interesting thing to see. I did not expect him to take a rock bottom through a table. I did not. I didn't expect him to take to take both finishers from Seth and from um, Cody. You know, um, and let me tell you, I had flashbacks of when he hit Cody with that belt in the back because uh, I thought about my mom right away. I was like, oh, 
You know, that hurt. Uh, shout out to Jen. Who sent 10, right? 10 bits. Yeah, that, child, that, that childhood trauma. Uh, thank, shout out to Jen for the 10 bits. Appreciate you. Hope you're doing well, too. Happy happy, uh, happy Sunday. Um, Jeremy Miller says the Rock looked better than he did, did compared to his Cena matches. Yeah. Um, Chocolate Lady, how are you doing today? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, now, let me ask you this question, especially you, Delisha, and Big Reg. Um because you are best, best, especially part of this demographic. Seeing Naomi, Jade, and Bianca Belair, um, and how they embraced in the ring. I thought that was a really good moment. Um, I kind of told Will last night, I think they're going to kind of form a little group with each other, and you might see um, Naomi, um, Naomi and uh, Jade go after a belt to kind of get Jade used to the WWE you know, scenario and um, crowd and get get her a belt uh, under her belt, uh, ironically, and get her going to then eventually push her, you know, to main event status. Um, how, how do you guys, how did you guys feel about that moment? And how did you, um, how do you think uh, what they're going to do in the future with Jade, uh, Bianca and uh, Naomi? Um, I love seeing them three together. I didn't know I wanted those three together until they were together. And I said, I love all of this. Their entrance was probably may maybe the second best entrance of the night. I'll give the first to the rock because I thought that was really cool. And just that he had to. Um, <laughs> and then they also put on a really good match. Once again, with the ladies involved, uh, wouldn't expect any less. And I do think this was a good showcase for Jade. Um, for members who aren't really from, might not have been familiar with her, um, even though we did get her in Rumble, but it was just for a little bit of time, and then you have about 10 other women also in the ring. But I do think this was a really good match for them. And, of course, showing Black Girl Magic is always going to get a thumbs up for me. Thanks. What about you, Rich? Um, I, I love seeing them together, man. I mean, I thought it was a huge moment for them, especially Naomi, with her being going from WWE with what happened with her getting fired from before, or her and uh, Sasha walking out because of the way African-American females were being treated in WWE. So for them to come back, have that moment at WrestleMania where they stand tall against some of the best female performers you'll see, you'll find out there, by the way. Um, that, that, was, that was a beautiful moment. And I think it's setting up a lot of good things to happen in the future because there is certain things that Jade has to learn in the ring and get better at. So instead of going right into that dream match of her versus Bianca, you have them be friends. And then, you know, they kind of, and then you build this thing where in the future, when they finally do go at it and they're doing their test of strengths and everything, it's like, oh man, they know each other so well now because they've been friends and teammates over the last year, two years. I, I like, I want that to happen down the road. Yeah. And I agree with what you said. Have her and Naomi go for like a tag team title. You know, that, that'd be a beautiful thing, but it, it was a lovely moment. A lovely moment. We need more of those. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I said it last night. I'll get to Ryan C's comment. Um, the fact that they brought back Hollywood Rock's music, uh, let me tell you, it's the best music in the world. Like, it's so smooth. And I, I, I would rather have it not transition from his, you know, if you smell what the rock is cooking to that. Because I like the way the original Hollywood Rock entrance was. But it, it's dope. And his character fits the music. Like, it just, the music fits him. When he's walking down that, you know, being cocky and with the people's but I, I saw that because I didn't see the Hall of Fame thing. And I was like, why does he have a belt for? Like, why? And then you're like, no. That's dope. Like, that's dope. <laughs> I was like, that's dope. Though. So uh, Ryan C says, hey, all uh, night one was decent. Great opening match with Becky and Rhea. And the ending was good. Sammy and Guther was good, but was disappointed with the J Jimmy and Jay. I mean, that <laughs> promo for Jimmy and Jay was like. Like great, and All then time. you go and yeah, and then you go and have that match. We didn't get Rikishi. We didn't get like anything else. Like that was frustrating. So I think uh, it's gonna be very interesting where we we go with them from here because it's like I think Greg, you were saying and like I don't know if Jimmy can carry solo matches. You know, Jay can. We've seen him do it, but Jimmy can't. So like, where do you what do you do with them? You know, I know eventually you're gonna you're gonna put them back together, but. That's like down the road, and you got to be able to have these guys perform on their own in order to give, you know, to make it 
you know something. So it's gonna be very interesting. Yeah, I would say this right. fight, again. Go ahead, I go ahead. A match, but I said I would say this, despite maybe the disappointment that people were expecting, they're still great performers individually and together. Because it's not mm. like we've never seen them put on a good match before. <clears throat> so you know, I mean, you don't want your stumbling match to be on WrestleMania. Yeah. But um, I think I think they'll be all right. I I think they'll be all right. I think uh, I like what Will said last night. I think it's going to end up uh, Jimmy being in the tag team with Solo. And that's that's what's going to have to carry Jimmy because we, I think he still needs to develop some of that in-ring chemistry. You would think he would have his best in-ring chemistry with his brother, but it, right? it, it told last night that it's not there. So yeah. it, to have him and Solo go after tag teams, where he show where he shows strong every single time is a great idea. I, I love yeah. when Will said that last night. That's that's a terrific idea right there. Because, and also because and of those, those sorry. Sorry, to work. No, yeah, you're good. sorry about that, Rich. I didn't mean to cut you off, but also because the tag teams have been split, um, you can de- now you can definitely have you know that the tag teams. A lot of people going after different tags, you know, because they're split. So, um, all right. So for night two, what is your most anticipated match tonight? And I'll start off with you, Will, because you haven't gotten a chance to talk. Uh, we know <laughs> that you know we've been talking, so we'll go we'll did, start with you. I did all my night one talking last night, so <laughs> I don't mind not speaking not speaking about this. I mean, with the exception of the main event, because I think we can all agree the main event has to be the most anticipated match of the of the night night overall. I'm also really intrigued about the Bailey and EO Sky match. Match, so that's something outside the main event that we're getting. I'm also anticipating to be really well, well done. Okay. What about you, Big Rich? Um, I agree with the Bailey EO Sky, but I'm gonna go with Seth and Drew. And it's mainly because, I mean, we know those two guys as performers can tear their house down. But I want to see if Damian Priest is going to cash in. Yeah. Because that's going to determine a lot of what happens if they do a draft and who the next contender is going to be. And does this have anything to do with maybe that group breaks up? Maybe Damian splits off from the rest of Judgment Day? I don't know. It's been looking rocky for them. But that, that match to me, I think – other than the main event, holds the most storyline. What about you, Delisha? Yeah, I think I'd have to agree that um, out. I would my one of my most anticipated outside of the main event is probably Drew versus um, Seth for the same reason. I just want to see if Damon's going to cash in, and I also want to see if Drew gets his in crowd moment of winning the title at main. Yeah, event. Sorry, yeah, ex- exactly. <laughs> I can't get I her. Think, I, think, I think Rose Yeehaw! agrees. <laughs> you're good. You're good. Yeehaw, girl. Yeehaw. <laughs> She's listening to Beyonce too much. No, I'm um, but, but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm more, I guess, not excited, more intrigued to see how all everything plays out. And But I also really do want to see Bailey and EO because I do feel like they've kind of been given the shaft. And as far as like time, to build their match, even though like with them, it was kind of built up over the last couple of months and thing and post rumble. But I feel like everyone else was getting like like the star treatment, so to speak, and their matches was like falling down. Um, despite Bailey being being like the backbone of the women's division pretty much, mm-hmm. even when she was injured. But I'm really I'm pretty excited to see those two go. And I feel like now that they they probably feel like they have a loss of proof, so that match is probably gonna be like great. Yeah, I think for me, I think the most anticipated match is, I, I think I agree with uh, Jeremy, is going to be the Orton, the U.S. title match. Um, and, you know, kind of seeing what, you know, what they do there, like if they're going to give Orton a title, like what exactly is going to go on. And I feel like that, to me, is going to be, you know, a great, I think it's going to be a great, a great match. You know, do you give it to Kevin Owens? Do you give it to Randy Orton? Or do you keep having Logan Paul be the champion? You know, so it's going to be very interesting to see where that, where that kind of goes. Um, also, obviously, Bailey, 
uh, and Io Sky is, is going to be interesting. We all we already know like the main event, the Seth Rollins match, um, is going to be just a banger. I, I don't really care about the Pride versus the t- Final Testament. Like, okay, cool. Yeah, no, like that, I think that should have been a night one match, but you know it is I, what it is. If we're being ahead, well. honest, that match shouldn't even be on the WrestleMania card. I disagree. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is like a that could be like a SmackDown. Dude, that should have been like the Friday like SmackDown main event. That could have been that match. Um to blow off that feud. Or maybe the Friday after media. I don't know. But um because people aren't really interested in that match. They like the street profits and I, obviously and everyone, but like with Karrion <laughs> Cross and it's AOP. I don't know what it is. They it, it feels like they can't just make Karrion Cross work. Um, cause like I I like him, but I don't cheer for him. I don't boo him. Like I don't. I it's just so indifferent. But when I seen him like on social media or in other people's like YouTube videos, he's like a really he has really great charisma. So I'm like, why can't why doesn't this translate onto my TV screen when you're supposed to get me excited about it? whether to boo you or cheer you whichever way? I don't. I'm not. I don't know why they can't make that work. I am sorry, Delusia, but I have to disagree with you. I actually am excited for the Street street Fight six-man tag match. <laughs> no, it's not the match itself. It's the the heel team involved. Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm just not, I'm not, I don't, I just don't really care. Uh, yeah, I, I just don't really care about this do. match. Yeah, I think that has to do with the way they build it. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't build it really well. You know what I mean? Over the last several weeks. Yeah. 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 Over the last several weeks is really questionable. One thing they were hitting on that I thought they were going to push is Karrion Cross basically talked like his aim was to break the team up. He was saying that, um, that, uh, what's his name deserves to go solo. Um, Montez. Why is his name escaped? Yes. Montez. He was saying that Montez should be a solo superstar or be the leader of the group. And I felt like if they would have, Further that story, you know, maybe cause a little rift with Bobby and and Montez, and kind of have it where they're tussling for 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 power going into the match. I think that'll bring a little more intrigue to it. Well, Car- yeah, Karrion, Karrion has a has a history of turning superstars into something that you wouldn't think they would do. Do Shinsuke and his, losing his honor, Rey Mysterio beating his son, AJ Styles going like. Going out on his own, away from the OC and everything, like everything that Karrion, every rivalry that Karrion Cross has had, even though he's lost all of them, the story behind those rivalries and what he was trying to get out of those wrestlers had eventually come out shortly after the rivalry ended. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's why I, I said that, and I, I love that. My my bad shit. Go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. You're you're good. You're good. You're good. Uh, I just again, I'm just not. I'm like whatever about this match. Like I'll watch it, but I'm not gonna be super into it. Um, the AJ Styles LA Knight match is very interesting because we're, I think the winner that's who you're gonna give the next push to, especially when we find out what happens with Damian Priest and everything like that. Um, I think that's that's the next person getting pushed and you know into a, a title as Gunther will probably feud with Cody. Um, you know now me and Will said this last night. What if? Triple H just decides Cody loses again cleanly. Uh, <laughs> I think I think Philly would riot. <laughs> I absolutely don't think that will happen. Yeah, I do think he's winning, especially <laughs> especially with um, was it Money in the Bank being in Cleveland? Uh, yeah. I definitely think he's retaining, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's like. Um, Brandy gets a RKO on KO and then gets knocked out of the ring and then Logan. Hi, yeah. Kind of <laughs> but yeah, but that would be probably the shocker of the night is if he actually does retain. Because <laughs> I, right. I don't, doesn't retain, I should say. Because right. KO and Randy, they don't really need it, so to speak. Uh, I mean, maybe KO just, to, but that would just be for something him, for him something for him to do. But they honestly they don't need the title right now. And as much as I hate to admit it, Logan's doing so great, and he's just want, he's just a great I want to punch you in the face heel that um, I think he can run with it for a little bit more. And then um, I don't know if he gets beaten in his hometown. Now, that would be something. Um, 
Uh, but yeah, yes, baby. Um, I, yes, I think I think he's retained. I would sure. love to see KO win the U.S. title, and then after the match ends, we see KO backstage with the title on his shoulder, and Sammy walks up and hugs KO while Sammy has the IC title on his shoulder. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure, and and yes, Rick, I see it. Iowa is gonna lose. Um, just to let everybody know, I just lost seven hundred dollars. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and someone was that you bet on Iowa. I actually, well, no, I bet on Iowa in the beginning of the tournament. They're one game away. <laughs> so, uh, and with and Jeremy saying, with everybody saying, "Hell, hey, night, yeah. yeah," but you know, but you know, but you know what I say, right? I am no pervert. <laughs> 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 shout, out, shout, out, shout out to oh you, you did that's Vince McMahon you don't remember that when he did the he did the uh, he did the um, lie detector test oh <laughs> yeah yeah good old Vince McMahon right Delisha yeah love him <laughs> uh-huh. I don't I would choke away another championship uh, won my bracket yeah um we'll talk about that on another on a, on a different show. We'll be talking about about South Carolina, Iowa. Um, so tonight, I want to I want to ask you guys: Will we have any surprises? Now, I know Will, you put something in our our wrestling uh, Twitter uh, group chat, which is very interesting. That's very interesting news. I don't know if we want to spoil that, but that is very interesting news. Well, I mean, there could be our surprises that we think could be coming. Who knows? Yeah, that's definitely a surprise. So, what will since you posted it? Why don't you talk about it? What did you post in in our wrestling chat right now? So, in our wrestling chat on our Twitter DMs, I posted that rumors have it Jacob Fatu has signed with WWE. He he's been saying to all the independent promoters that he signed a contract with WWE, so he's gonna be leaving the independent circuit. Circuit, I am excited if it's true. I love Jacob Fatu's work. I don't, I actually don't think he appears tonight though, because I think mm-hmm. he still has a couple other dates to do. But don't be surprised if we see him in the next coming months, months suddenly joining the bloodline and all that. Okay, so you don't think he'll show up tonight? I don't think he'll show up tonight. Uh, I have a couple thoughts of people that could show up tonight. Yeah. Tonight for the Bloodline feud, feud thing, I think we see John Cena come come back to take out Solo. Okay, Solo and... because Solo took him out. <laughs> okay, is that is all? Is that all? Is the only people you think are your show? I mean, I want. I I would love if we get uh, Dustin Rhodes or better known as Goldust to make an appearance, but I highly doubt it because he just made a Twitter video today saying that he's going to be at Dynamite on Wednesday. So I highly doubt AEW and WWE are going to work together. (laughs) But I would love if we see Goldust or Dustin Rhodes come in for a one-night appearance to help Cody. Yeah, for sure. Uh, What about you, Big Reg? Or sorry, Delisha. What surprises do you think we're going to get? And it doesn't just have to be in the, the main event. It could be any match. Yeah. Yeah, but be- because I think the main event is going to be so batshit crazy, I feel like you, you have to kind of, like, save it for that. Okay. Um, be- uh, because, like, there's no way you have bloodline rules and, like, either – and, like, no one outside of, I guess, the on-TV, like, bloodline comes out. And then – but Cody, who has – who's supposed to be so well-liked, has no one to his side. Like they have, they have to have something planned, um. Because obviously, I'm gonna, I shouldn't say obviously, but um, Thank you. Oh but um, I really, I actually, and I know we all been saying like internet rumors with like John Cena and Stone Cold. Like I want it to be true, also because you know the pop is going to be so crazy in that arena or stadium. I guess you called not the belittle it with the arena title but um but yeah i feel like, but if you are doing a so-called avengers level everybody gets together for this main event 
you don't really, I mean, you don't want to, I, I want to say cheapen it, but by having like so many, like, or one or two surprises coming up, unless we get some more like legends who are just like backstage or just, you know, talking to maybe some other superstars like that. But as far as like maybe getting involved in matches or coming out after a match, um, I think you, <laughs> you should save that for um, the main event. Or I guess even another big surprise is Seth could retain <laughs> and not and not lose to Drew. But also then the question is then it's like, well, what do you do with Drew after this? I mean, he does have CM Punk, CM Punk coming, but yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah, or, yeah. or a bit, I don't know if this would actually be a surprise. Damian Priest trying to cash in and actually not winning anything. So. I thought about that. I thought about that. <laughs> I think I think the a surprise for me, and I'll get to you in a minute, Reg, would be Damian Priest trying to cash in on Cody and doesn't get it, or Damian Priest cashing in on Cody and gets it. Like so, uh, Will was saying this, I was saying, imagine they're about to hand Cody the belt after he wins, and then Priest music hits, he comes out, they have like a, another five minute, ten minute match, and then Priest wins. Like how how shitty <laughs> would that be? Uh, Shout out to shout out to Jared. How you doing? Good afternoon. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, rumor of Uncle Howdy returning to give a tease at the end of the Bray Wyatt documentary. Yeah, that's definitely turn. It certainly won't be too big as Luchadors we got in night one. Yeah, facts. Um, I uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll kind of go back to night one in a minute. Um, but uh, I I would agree with Will. Uh, I think. Hopefully that smoke screen that and gold dust returns, because there's a difference between Dustin Rhodes and Gold Dust. And if Gold Dust, could you imagine like Cody, like they're beating on Cody and it's close, and all of a sudden you hear the you know the uh, um, oh, um, yeah, no. what, what was it? Was it Broken Dreams? Shattered Dreams or Shattered Dreams? Shattered Dreams. <laughs> shattered Dreams hit like that pop would be crazy. And then he comes out and he's doing the you know. You know, I you know it's so funny growing up on that. You thought that was so weird, and now you think about it, it's like that was dope. Like that was, it was, it was a little weird to see him in lingerie every once in a while, but it was pretty dope. Um, or or what if Legacy's music hits? I know Ted DiBiase's in jail, but you have Ted DiBiase and, and and Randy Orton come out. You know, but then the cops grab Ted DiBiase after the match, saying he's supposed to go back into jail. Um, but or Leg Legacy's uh music hits that would be interesting. Um. There's a lot of interesting things. I, I I agree with you, Delisha. It's bloodline rules, and it seems like Cody's not going to have anybody in his corner. You know, Seth's got his own thing to deal with, so there's going to have to be someone from we're not thinking of or we're not really, you know, that's going to come out. Reg, what about you? What do you think? What do you? Or right, go ahead, Will, real quick. I just I just thought of one more person, uh, Brandy. Yes, I actually thought about that too. That she she comes in and tries to to run interference somehow. Uh, but then she gets, but then she gets um, super kicked by Jimmy, and then you know, and then and then now now we just now we just beat up on Jimmy because you can't be doing that too that beautiful way. But you know what? What is up with all these? Like, I, this is a tangent. What's up with all these wrestlers now, especially the female ones, looking like Rhea Ripley last night looked amazing. I I don't know if you guys how you agree about the long hair, but I liked it. I thought it was great. Now a lot of people are on the internet debating. The short hair is the best. I liked her with long hair. She looked she looked great. Um, um well I like both. Uh it was just yeah. I wasn't jarring stuff the word because it's just because we haven't seen her with long hair in such a long time that it yeah. was like, oh, oh yeah, cool. Um, but it it was it was fun. Uh, I like that she likes to play around with like her look. Um, or or just also either just for herself or just to entice the fans to get some sort of reaction, whether it be good or bad. That's always fun. Um, but yeah, of course, although it's well, one is WrestleMania, so you know all the ladies are going to show up and show out. Buddy, Buddy Murphy is a lucky man. <laughs> Amen to that. Uh, since we heard nothing, M M MJF he ran retreated this week of WrestleMania. That would be interesting. <laughs> um, Ric Flair hands Cody the belt. That would be interesting. Yo, what's up, Elsa? I hope you're having a great night. All right, Big Reg. Surprises. What do you think is gonna happen? Give us your thoughts. Who can help Cody? Uh any, you know, do you think Damian Priest is gonna cash in? Um is Howdy gonna show up? Like what what do you what do you think? So I'm going way outside the box with this, right? 
Okay. Either you get Brock Lesnar comes out to take out the rest of the bloodline, or you're going to get a combination of Tama Tonga and Stone Cold Steve Austin to come out and assist Cody. I'm going way outside because Tama Tonga's son, he signed his contract with WWE about a month or two ago. And they were bringing him in. He's, uh, I believe he's been spotted at the Performance Center. And they were bringing him in. They, they were talking about injecting him into this storyline at some point or possibly holding him off till after. This would be the perfect time if you're going to bring him in because he's not really their family. He's more of a friend of the family. You know, I know The Rock calls his father uncle or whatever, but uh, it's not real blood. And remember, he's got that he's got that Bullet Club connection with Cody. So we could see something along that lines. I think I think it would be awesome and completely shocking. And then for him to call on a guy like Stone Cold, you know, everybody's heard they've been talking to Stone Cold about a possible WrestleMania appearance. So why not have him in the right? Yeah, him and the Rock at the fortieth. Like, yeah, it makes sense. Um, I'll throw a name out there. Yeah. What if what if Cody is getting beat up and we hear no chance? That's what you got. No chance. No chance. Oh, man. <laughs> no chance we heard that one. No chance in hell we heard that one. <laughs> the re- hey, the reaction would be amazing. <laughs> what, what comes would. after oh, what comes after would be would be just completely uh I, I, completely. I would tu- I would turn around. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I, guess I think CM back off of Reg. I was gonna say, yeah, you can also see other bloodline members who aren't in favor of Roman and side with Cody and just to take just to take him down. Um, both him, I guess. Well, I guess you can't really take the rock down because he has so much stake in the company, but <laughs> um, to yeah, yeah, yeah. be like, you know what, dude, like this whole child, what you think you aren't you ain't it. Um, you're doing too much, <laughs> you threaten people's family, you put people's buses on fire. No, I'm just gonna that was. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think I think we're definitely gonna get some kind of um Roman Rock feud because you know Rock likes to set a year in advance. So something's gonna happen. We just don't know what. And I didn't mean to cut you off, Delisha. Go ahead and finish your oh, time. No, 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 it's fine. Yeah. No, I, I think that yeah, we, we, we keep well, we were naming Bella members who would like come might come out and uh antagonize Cody, but they might be on his side. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say this one if they can make it safe for him, um, CM Punk. You know, CM Punk coming out and helping Cody. You know, because we all hear the rumor that that CM Punk was supposed to win the Rumble and everything like that, and now they're you know they had a shift because he got hurt. Does he come out and help Cody? Because I think he is gonna commentate. Yeah, I was gonna um, say, didn't they? I don't know if that was put it in stone or because he would be guest commentating on. Well, he's gonna be on commentary for the Drew and Seth match. Match. I made a I made a comment somewhere on Twitter, Twitter or something, or maybe in text privately to Cal about uh, about it, saying uh, referee gets taken out there in the Drew and Seth match. CM Punk gets up, take it, takes off whatever blazer and shirt he wears, the reveals a referee T-shirt and gets in and counts the three count. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, I, I definitely could see CM Punk coming down and helping Cody, um, maybe with the Seth Rollins, um, you know, because they kind of have their feud, but they're going to put it aside to help Cody out because, you know, The Rock. Um, real quick, another off-topic thing. How did you guys feel about The Rock? How much he's been cussing? Good Lord, he's been cussing a lot. But when you told the ref, if you, if you count us out, I'll fucking fire you. <laughs> and, if, you know, Will, and we had a uh, nightlife, uh, nightlife in here, you know, kind of pissed off. Like, wait a minute, if he's able just to do that, why didn't he just make bloodline rules? Um, and I had to think about it. Though telling the ref he's going to fire him isn't really a wrestling, like, it isn't, that's like a company thing. That's not, you know, yeah. the wrestling part. So he can't, I don't know if he can make decisions upon that, like, you know, special referees, um, you know, changing um, stipulation of the match, you know, things like that. But he can pull employment 
I'm going to fire you because you didn't do your job or, you know, things like that. So, um, but I, I didn't get, we didn't get you really your thoughts on that. How, how was your thoughts about the rocket? How much he's been cussing and kind, kind of oh. throwing his power, power around um, Big Reg? I absolutely love it. I mean, welcome back, Adam, to Air 2.0. I mean, yeah. it, it, my thing for me, I think it has a lot to do with them preparing to go over to Netflix. Uh-huh. You know, once they get on Netflix, anything goes. It's, you're going to be letting it fly. So I think are we going awesome. to get puppies? We might. We might. <laughs> More than like. <laughs> depends on the women, though, right? The women yeah. now. Are I know. That, I think. I think. I think they're going. They're away from that. I think they're away from that. Yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot of these, a lot of the women look really good, but they, they're not, they're not, we're not doing the whole night, you know, the attitude era. Yeah, uh, we're not. Women's 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 and all that. that. Yeah, yeah, well, no, no more uh, Jello matches and stuff like that. But <laughs> I, think, I think the cussing has been awesome. I mean, it, they're, they're doing what they have to do to compete with AEW without going over the top. As far as like blood and all these, you know, death batches and crazy. I mean, they did. They did cut Cody. They did cut. Yeah, they did. They did. And we haven't. When was the? was like the last time we've seen real, real blood in a while on WWE? It's been a minute. It's it's been a minute. It's been a long while. Yeah, outside of someone being like injured and it happening on, you know, accident. I don't think. Yeah, Roman. Roman getting his nose nose busted last night. That was accident, and and yeah, it was great. It fed into the story though. You know, so I was I was yeah. okay with it. You know, yeah. Um, I think I th- I, t- I took it as Rock giving them uh, giving them Cody and Seth a fair shot. Okay, I um, agree. What, a, what up, Jose? <laughs> One way they would get away with that is having no kids in the arena, <laughs> bro. They had kids in the arena. <laughs> They had kids in the arena back in the nineties. Okay. Well, that's a, <laughs> I, I, I I went to a I went to a live match and where somebody somebody uh, came down. So yeah. Well, what so, parents were allowing in the nineties and what they're allowing now is totally different. Totally <laughs> different. Two. What, what we got away with in the nineties and what we get away with now is two different things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but <laughs> not I, even I, the same. Back to what Jeremy was saying about um the Rock giving Cody and stuff a fair shot. I don't think it was about that either, or to a point. Um, because like you said, since The Rock has that much stake in the company, and even Roman to a point in his character rise, I think what is more just to play mind games with them and just another way to um like get them worked up before their new match on the on the next night. Um, to give yeah. them the illusion that they have any type of power. And then they're like, You really think we're just gonna let we're gonna have you win? No, nope, no way. You know, and, and Ryan brings up a great point because there was, if you remember SmackDowns ago, a long time ago, Rock and Triple H were kind of going to have a feud. Um, but that I think this was right before Triple H started having health issues. And the and, and Triple H talked about it, that him and, him and Rock have never had a WrestleMania moment. They've never had that WrestleMania match. They've had moments like we saw when Rock came and Ronda Rousey and them throwing, you know, Triple H and Stephanie around and things like that, but they've never had a match. Um, and with his health issues, I don't think you'll ever get a Triple H Rock match, but you can get a little bit of something. And maybe this would be a possibility where Rock comes down, interferes with the match, and uses his so called power to maybe restart the match or do something. And then Triple H confronts the Rock and shows really who has the power, you know, because we did see that confrontation in Vegas backstage, you know, so we could get something like that because. It's not Triple H really siding with Cody, but protecting the brand from another authority figure that we had, like in Vince McMahon and things like that. And even though Triple H was the authority at one point, like it's so weird. But um, you know, but that it it make it would make sense, you know. And so I I think that would be a possibility that you do get Triple H come down, um, in that in that um. In that match. Now, real quick, before we, you know, we, I know we want to talk a little bit more about the main event, maybe talk about uh, Seth's match, but let's give some love to EO Sky and Bailey. And I have said this before. Um, my good friend Trish used to actually room with Bailey, aka Pamela, when they were kids. And so she, she, she used to tell me all the time that Pamela would talk about being a wrestler and how she wanted to be a wrestler because they would just sit there and watch wrestling all the time together. So it's kind of cool to get the kind of backstory of someone like, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you, someone, you know, 
And then they, they talk about it like, yo, I want to be a wrestler. And now that you see their dreams, she's headlining WrestleMania. Um, I think somebody said it before. The last couple of years, they have really been screwing Bailey over as far as just, you know, doing doing things to her. And she comes back and all that stuff. Um, and now they're giving her opportunity. Is she going to win this belt? It, you know, are they going to give her a reign? Um, does she, and I think she deserves it. But I'll start with you, Will. What do you think about this Bailey EO Sky match? I think we're gonna have a great match between the two. Two, I believe Bailey's gonna win it. I think it's gonna be a class, a classic women's match that will be on WrestleMania that we will talk about for a while. I'm hoping that we don't see the rest of Damage Control get involved, and we have Jade and B- Bianca and Naomi coming out to take care of the rest of. Damage control and get them out of the picture. And then we have to finish up the match. I would rather it be just EO and Bailey. We just have a classic one on one between them. But odds are we're going to have the old interference and shenanigans of all that, probably. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I agree with you. I, I would like Bailey to get a clean win. Um, but we'll, it'll be interesting. What about you, Delisha? What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, or if Bailey's smart, she should, she should take out damage control before the match. <laughs> just, you know, cheer up them all. Um, but no, I like I was saying earlier, I really hope, I do think they feel like they have something to prove because their match hasn't really been, it's getting talked about, but not with the, um, for lack of a better term, prestige of some of the other matches on the card, or especially the other title matches on the card. Um, and them being the only women's match for night two, which I think is bullshit. Um, uh, I really think they're gonna they they want to go out and just be like, you should have been talking about us more, but now you're gonna talk about us now. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And, and, be, and before you answer, Big Reg, I hope, I hope Bailey comes out to her old music. Like she doesn't have to do the the whole get up again, but that music and maybe like the the the, the flailly guys come up, that would be dope. Uh, I am all the bummed that they uh, couldn't work out getting Paramore to come out and um, do whatever she wants. I think she wanted to do her entrance or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but the scheduling didn't pan out. But And that's like one of her all-time favorite bands. So I was like, oh, man, I yeah, really wish that she could have. But they, yeah, they did give her rights to the music to use in her video package. So uh, that was their yeah. compromise. Like, <laughs> there you go. Big Reg, what about you? Oh man, now that you bring it up, I'd love to see the wacky wavy inflatable tube man. That was my favorite thing. Like <laughs> I know you're probably looking like, hey, you a grown man, dog. Was that? that was my favorite <laughs> thing. I absolutely loved it every single time. I really did. But I want to see them just go out and just just tear it up and have a great match. Bailey deserves to win. I mean, I, there's no one more consistent in the ring as what she is. Mm-hmm. So just Go ahead, give her the title back. People love her for a reason. Um, it's going to be a great match. And I think they get – give them a good 20 minutes and just let them work. Then it would be a great match, hands down. Yeah. yeah. Um, I do want to see EO Sky hit, hit the Macho Man elbow off the top rope because her – I love – like there's – you know, there's those elbows that you get. Like Shawn Michaels had a good one. Obviously, Randy uh, Macho Man's uh, Randy Savage had one, um, yeah, but Eo Skies, Eo Skies is just amazing when she does it. Like it uh, looks so fluent and just painful, and I, I just want to see her hit it. Uh, I, I didn't. I don't think Eo does uh, elbow. She does a moonsault. Kyrie Are you about Kyrie? I think is it Kyrie? About- okay, see, yeah, because <laughs> it's it's yeah. Kyrie's it insane it elbow. Is Kyrie. It's kind yeah, of okay. I thought it was EO. I thought it was EO. Yeah, no, EO oh, okay. is like the moon salt because everyone yeah. would, of course, uh, be like, see, Charlotte, this is what a moon salt is supposed to look like. Yeah, like, <laughs> uh, the moon salt. So, do, do the shooting star press, you know? <laughs> like, let's, 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 you know, let's get, bring that back. What was a, what's another day band um, move? There's a moon salt. The which one? 450 splash. 450 splash is, is banned. I yeah. believe it's banned, but only like certain particular wrestlers are permitted to use it. Does, does, does it doesn't ricochet? ricochet? Yeah. Yeah, ricochet, it's ricochet. It's one of the few that they would permit to use it. Yeah. Yeah. Just like how Sammy Dane's like one of the only people that could do a brain buster. 
Dude, that looked that was look that looked wild last night because I didn't know what he was doing when he did that. Like you know what that looked like? That looked like me trying to pick up Reg and I just screwed up and just like dropped. <laughs> <laughs> and poor Reg and almost killed poor Reg. <laughs> he went back to his indie days with that one, man. He went back to his indie days with that move. I, I loved it. As soon as he saw it, as soon as he hit that, I exploded in my living room. My girl was like, "What?" I was like, "Damn, I'm a lot of brain busters. I love this." <laughs> well, and then Reg grabbed it. Then Reg always did the brain buster on the apron. Apron. Yeah, that was oh. one of his all moves all the time, yeah. and he used it once or twice in WWE. Like the brain. And then they're like, "No." It's like a move <laughs> that like, overall is banned, but it's one of those right. band moves that wrestle they tr- they trust certain wrestlers to do. Yeah, isn't the power? Dri- Sorry, isn't, yeah, no, you're fine. isn't the power driver pretty much banned except for in certain circumstances? I I think I don't think anybody does the power driver. Yeah. I think only Undertaker does it. Yeah, well, I think Undertaker Big Red Tombstone, but the power driver is banned. I think they allowed Eric Young to do it because it was part of his gimmick and everything. But I, oh, okay, otherwise, what's the difference between the Tombstone and the power driver? Yeah. I thought they were the same thing. Is it a sit out pile driver or it's yeah, a sit out pile driver, driver that broke someone called neck? That's the one that's banned. Yeah. 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 That one's been banned. It was like whatever, a reverse yeah. sit out pile driver. Yeah. Big Reg, did, when, when he did that brain busted, did you grab it when you were screaming your wife? You're like, what happened? You're like, come here, I'll show you. She picked her up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, please. She like tried to kill me if I would try to do that. <laughs> I think there's a possibility a women's match happening next year that they just announced a North American title for uh, the women in NXT. What that, what yeah. That, what that woman did the Continental title. Yeah. Well, I think they just announced uh, the women's... Uh, Delisha, and you're more tapped into NXT than I am because I don't really get to watch. What's the heck, what's going on with Rock's daughter now? Is she just a general manager? Like, she wasn't um, good in the ring? Yeah, I don't know the actual, like, facts stage reasons of why, but um, now she's just an, an authority figure, or maybe they felt she needed maybe a little bit more work in, in the ring wise, which I would agree on, and maybe and maybe like an on screen because sometimes her mic work was not that great, but I think putting her on screen as an authority figure or like a backstage presence probably just to help her to be more comfortable in front of the camera, we're fine. <laughs> Is she okay? Did, yeah, she, she, did she brain bust a, a doll right there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically that's what she did. Also, oh, oh, you see, all oh, you saw, you see her daughter just super kick a doll across the camera. <laughs> <laughs> the way she picks up things, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but yeah, I do. Here, here comes the Rosie Claymore. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I do think it's just to get her more like on being on screen um, presence, and she's doing. I think she's doing a really good job with that as well. Okay. And I do think I'm glad that they do have another like secondary title uh, or another title for the women to go after. So it's not always just a tag team they're trying to. Well, actually, they don't have their tag t- titles anymore. I don't think. Um, I don't actually, then if they do, I don't remember who the champions are. Oh no, they got fused into the the main tag titles. But instead of just going after the women's uh, the women's single title, now there's another title they can contend with. Not that all feuds have to be about titles. Um, yeah. Which I think NXT also does pretty well is getting you invested in storylines that don't involve like a title. Like look at Trick and Mellow. That didn't involve a title at all, but we were all so invested. And also shout out to being the first um black man to main event a uh takeover. So kudos to them. Actually a PLD overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Let's tell. Yeah, that's so, yeah. Um, but yeah, I and to I guess to answer Jeremy's or um, opinion. I I do think because Triple H is more invested in the women than the previous administration was, um, we probably can get to the point where we, we can have two to three women's matches on both nights because it's not like the roster isn't deep enough. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, me and Will were talking about the tag titles. You split them up and now you have at least six teams on each on each brand that can yeah. go after those titles. But yeah, now, because I think I think Reg was it you that was talking about somebody was talking about it. I think it was Brody, but we were talking about how there used to just be dedicated teams, like they weren't. You know, every once in a while they might be a singles match, but there was dedicated teams, and we just don't have that anymore. You know, we don't. You know, now we have now we have enough teams. They've kind of built teams together, and I think you need to do that to kind of get the tag team uh, division back together. Where you eventually bring back the Usos, 
if you want them to bring them back or or whatever and kind of go from there. But I think that um, you're right. Triple H is very invested in the women. Uh, we obviously see that. And I I I want to disagree with you a little bit, Jalisha. I I know that you want to see more women. But I think this. I think the reason why they have the women only one women's match is just giving the spotlight to them. Like they, they are. You know, they're going to be a spotlighted match, rather than, you know, you have all these other. Like I think, because I, I don't know what what was going on with um, Becky, that maybe you would have had Rhea and Becky closer to the main event. But I think because well, Becky, Becky was sick. Wow. Yeah, I think because Becky was sick, that's why they yeah. had her first. But I think that with with the Bailey and and Sky match, it's it's given them the spotlight they deserve. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, mean, I I can see that, but we also then we have like seventeen thousand men's matches, and so they, it's like. But yeah. even if and I know the the back the comp the commentary could be like, well, there wasn't no stories built up for the other women, and it's like you know, many is coming. What they could they could have written that in, or since the tag titles are not being um defended uh this mania we could have done what we did with the men last year and have like a tag team like turmoil match or showcase match or whatever they called they did it that with the women last year too oh, they had true. a men's tag team showcase and a women's tag team showcase we could have done that again this but they could have done another one of those or some something like there's really no excuse honestly when okay. like we were saying like we're getting AOP and carrying cross versus the street problems and Bible Lashley with this with the storyline that that hasn't that much great um enthusiasm for and so you're telling me there was no spot for another women's match? I like I, said, I just call BS on that. But um, because like I said, Mania comes every year, so yeah. you can always build up to that. But again, um, because I like I'll I'll call that out whether it's WWE, AEW, TNA, whoever it is, not just strictly to one company. Because uh, while women's wrestling has come such a long way, there's still so much more that has to be done in order to make to make them feel like it's like. Credible enough? I don't know. I don't know what more these women have to do, honestly. Yeah, no, I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you, hundred percent. All right. So, two last things before we get out of here. Uh, we're we're gonna get a prediction on each match, and then I want I'm gonna give you I'm gonna throw this question out right now for you guys, and I want you guys to think about it, and we'll we'll talk about it um, at the end. Um, it's been forty years of WrestleMania. What is your favorite? WrestleMania match. Okay. 40 years of WrestleMania. What is your favorite WrestleMania match of all time? But before we get to that, so think about that. Have that marinating in your head. We are going to start with the Pride versus this Final Testament. Who wins? And I will start off with you, Delisha. Um, I think is going to be uh, the Pride, mainly because just to blow that match off, um, I mean, not to not to blow it off like opinion wise, but they have been kind of getting beat down by AOP and Karen Cross. Um, unless they really want to extend this, I don't know why, a, even more. <laughs> then I could see Final Testament winning, but I think it's time to let this go and then have she profits, you know, get, get that and Lashley get that win and then move on for the betterment of both teams or both factions, I should say. I think Delisha is the only one that's going to understand this. I didn't know Ben Goddard and Rachel Silvestrini are wrestling at WrestleMania. She knows what I'm talking about. Uh, Big Reg, the Pride versus the Final Testament. Um, I'm going to take the Pride. I, I would like to see the Final Testament win because then maybe we could get that push for Montez to go solo after. But I think it's going to be the Pride. Big Will, who you got? Oh, this is where I'm the opposite end of the spectrum. I think Final Testament's winning it. <laughs> All right, going with Final Testament. Um, that doesn't that sound like a biker game? I don't know, to me, <laughs> they kind of are. So. All right, Big Will, I'm gonna start with you again. L.A. Knight versus A.J. Styles. L.A. Knight, yeah. <laughs> There you go. Uh, Big Reg, AJ or LA? Hey, he said it. LA night. Yeah. It's, got, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. 
Wrestling brings out the little kids in us. It's great. I love it. Delisha, what about you? Who you got? Yeah, I think it's got to be LA Knight. Um, I mean, I know he had the uh, the, the Mountain Dew back splash match. I'm not even La- Oh my gosh, last year. But I think this might be his true, uh, like coming out wrestling match for Mania. And um, and I think because I think he's getting ready for like a, a big push for to get a title soon. So I think this is yeah. where we get the start of that. All right, Delisha. Start with you. Logan Paul versus Kevin Owens versus Randy Orton. I think I think we're going Logan. Um, like love him or hate him, and a lot of us hate him. Um, he's doing really good work. Uh, I won't take that. I would never take that away from someone. And like I said, because we got that, I, I'm pretty sure it's Money in the Bank in Cleveland. Um, or is it Money in the Bank? I don't. Now I'm doubting myself. So we, got, we got a PLE coming up. In SummerSlam is coming to Cleveland. SummerSlam, that's what it is. I knew, I knew it was like a big one that we. Damn, it's already going to be summer already. Yeah. Good God, these years have been going by quick. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I think because I think they want him. They def, well, he's definitely going to be there. He's all over the posters and everything. And I think I said it earlier, Brandy and Kayla, they, they don't really need it right now. Not right now. Big Reg, who you got? Paul Owens Orton. Yeah. I'm going with KO. I'm going with KO. Only because when you look at the layout of the feud, he's been feuding with Paul for so long now. You know, Randy kind of just got interjected in it, but he's KO's going back a couple months now, a couple pay-per-views. And if you really want to end that feud, the only way to do it is to give the belt to KO. So that's my choice. Big Reg. Or sorry, not Big Reg, but uh, Will. Who you got? I'm in agreement with Big Reg here. I'm going KO winning this match. We have a moment with KO and same scene holding the IC and US title in the backstage area. <laughs> there you go. I like it. I like the way you're going. All right. We got EO Sky versus Bailey. Big Will, who you got? Give me that Bailey victory. <laughs> there you go. He, he wants a hug. Um, Big. <laughs> Big Reg, who you, got, who you got? Wacky, wavy, inflatable tube men. <laughs> give, me, give me Bailey. Give me Bailey. Give me Bailey. <laughs> Felicia, who you got? Yeah, I'm a hugger as well. I think Bailey's taking it, uh, and we might we might actually get a get a great rematch back at Backlash too. But um, one, it's deserved, and two, it it puts a nice bow on the storyline so that we can get other contenders for both of them. There you go. All right. Delisha. You got Seth Rollins versus Drew McQueenie. Or no, sorry. Seth, I, God darn it. Slow down. <laughs> Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. Pick a winner, but also then give me Will um, Damian Priest cash in. Um, this is so tough. Okay, so I think Drew wins, and I do think Damian cashes in. Um, but the thing is, I don't know where they where they want to go with him. Uh, I think he's going to fail, and that pushes him over the edge of want to be on his own out of Judgment Day to and go to try to go on the monster run solo again. Big Reg, same question. I'm taking Seth in the win. Okay. Taking Seth Priest, in the win, right? And Priest, Priest uh, catches in when it hurts Seth after the match. Either that or he interjects himself into towards the ending of the match. Because the way I see it, they've been building uh, Drew McIntyre as too much of a crybaby. And kind of his, his whole story right now is I can't win because of everybody else. So to finally for him to finally get that one-on-one with an injured Seth and then Seth beat him will kind of maybe give his character a new direction after Mania. Um, and then maybe he could get a few with Damian Priest after, but I think Seth wins and Priest cashes in. Yeah, Big Will. I'm thinking Drew McIntyre is gonna win, but there's not gonna be a cash in from Dr- Damian on this match. Ooh, okay. Oh, I think he. I think he's calling another, another uh, uh, cash in on another match. 
Uh, German Miller has. Oh, sorry. Oops. Uh, there it is. The Godfather Drew McIntyre. I thought his comment right. about CM Punk getting involved. I do agree that that some CM Punk going to somehow get involved in this match. He's coming off the commentary table. <laughs> okay. Maybe he stops Damian Priest from cashing in. <laughs> or trying to or trying to cash in to be the third member of the wow. Match. <laughs> wow, Delisha. I wow. Know. I don't even know if that's PG. <laughs> <laughs> No. All right. And the final match does Cody Rhodes finish his story? From the bottom of my heart, man to man, fuck your story. <laughs> Big Will, who do you got in the final match? And you can go ahead and give your prediction if Damian Priest cashes in. Cody Rhodes is going to defeat Roman Reigns after all the battle of the bloodline and all the Avengers get assembled. assembled. But before Cody can get his hands on the title and hand it to his mother, mother, we hear punishment play. Damian Priest comes running in, catches in, and steals the title from Cody Rhodes' grasp. Damian Priest will become the most hated Puerto Rican ever in WWE because of that. <laughs> Tell you that right now. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Hey, I'll Big bring Reg. more pizza today. <laughs> Big Reg, who you got? I got Cody. Um, it's been two years, right? You done made him win two Royal Rumbles. You you gotta give him the title now. You kind of if if you don't, you've wasted two Royal Rumble winners off the rip. That could have been different challengers for Roman. So you gotta give it to him now. They they don't they Roman wins cleanly and then they tell Cody guess what you got to do star Stardust again. <laughs> oh man, Cody goes That's back to terrible. AEW. He goes he goes back to AEW and absolutely lights WWE in, uh, up in flames. Cody yeah. Cody Cody yeah. just you, resigned no, no. the deal. There's no look way it, he would do that. Look it look it. You want to talk about the long game? Triple H. When he smashed, when he's when Cody smashed that throne, Triple H said, "I'm gonna play the long game. I'll make you win two Royal Rumbles, and right when you think I'm gonna give you the title, I'm gonna snatch it away from you. I'm gonna make you st uh, Stardust again. <laughs> that that first off, that would be the ultimate get back. Oh, remember when you smashed my throne? Like, I just, I just wasted two years of your life. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> but I don't think it's gonna happen. I think Triple H has too much respect for Cody. Uh, Delisha, who you got? Roman yeah, no, Reigns Triple versus Cody Rhodes. Triple H will be petty, but he's a businessman first. Um, but um, I just, well, honestly, if Cody doesn't win, what the fuck does he do? Like, what does he do? It, like, there's, and honestly, if he doesn't win, <laughs> the fans might just turn on him and just be like, why, why are we behind you? Or he goes um, and starts another company. I guess he's going to have to. <laughs> <laughs> just, no, you know what? He'll just conflict the gamut and just go to TNA and then build that one up. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I, and also, uh, who else is there for Roman to face? Like, who, who else that we would, would really believe um, they would push to be the one to defeat Roman? And it's just, you can't write this any better than Cody winning this match. No matter no matter how it comes about, whether it's cleanly, bloodline interference, other people interference, whether it's just really just a one-on-one -on -one match that we got, like, the even if it's not even about sending the fans home happy, just like this is the best story to tell for this story of him and Roman. Yeah. And before we get to this last question, uh, how cold do you think it's gonna be for all these people? Do you think the crowd's gonna be a lot better? It's not I think people are gonna come with hand warmers, uh, they're gonna come with um, you know, warmer coats, you know, <laughs> and I think they're gonna be a lot better because it was, it was cold last night. A lot of people I know, uh, Bronny was saying, it's not cold. That's not cold. Well, I'm sorry, Bronny. Not all of us live in the snow. I think all you guys do. I don't. I live in California. We don't see snow. <laughs> yeah, the people who live in that area, they were fine. They, they, they've gone to Eagles games in like February, so they, they were fine. It's everyone who's coming from outside of the East Coast who hopefully, if they are in there for night two, learned their lesson and bought some hoodies, hats. And <laughs> right. Night one, you saw someone wearing shorts. They're like, oh, it's going to be fine. 
No, it was not. <laughs> yeah, once, um, it, once once it got once the sun went down, it's like oh, and that wind picked up, and you're like oh. They they would make Gunther face quickly. Yeah, they would. Uh, I was looking at the temperatures. It's 59 degrees, still cold, but it seems a bit better than last night. Okay, that's good. That's well, good. how was the the, the the temperature wasn't bad. It was the winds. It was the wind. So yeah. how 15, 15 is there winds. a wind show going on in Philly right now? Because if there's a, like no wind going on, then everything's going to be fine. Yeah, because I was out earlier, and the wind is not a factor like it was yesterday. So if it stays that way, yeah. um, it'll be much more comfortable. Are you in Philly? Yeah. Well, technically, I live right like 10 minutes outside of Philly, but I grew up in Philly. Oh, you a Philly girl. Oh, she she a Fresh Prince of Bel-Air girl. Yeah, right? I'm not wearing a t-shirt for no reason. Okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're going to be getting out of here real quick. Uh, we're going to be out getting out of here soon. Um, but before we get out of here, I asked a question. What is your favorite WrestleMania match? And I will start with you, Will. It is the 40th anniversary since the first WrestleMania. What is your first favorite WrestleMania match of all time? All right, I'm going to take us back to 2001 at WrestleMania 17. We have three tag teams competing for the world tag titles, the Hardys, Edge and Christian, the Dudley Boys. It is TLC2. <laughs> that is a great match, one of the best matches. And that, that card was stacked, and that, one, that match stood out other than the main event. So, yeah, I 100% agree. With, that's a great match, great match. Especially if you were into the tag titles, um, that that match was awesome. TLC, well, I, I I wish they bring that back. We had, when's the last time we had a TLC match? And I know someone's gonna say we just had one last week, and I'll be like, well, I wasn't watching. I don't. No, but I don't. I don't, know I don't think we had one for like a year. That yeah, I can we need some think of. We need we need some TLC matches. I think I think we got the Hell in the Cell um, Cody match. I think if he wins the title, we need a TLC match. That would be that would be great. You know, we haven't had a good TLC match. Big Reg, favorite WrestleMania match of all time. So a lot of people don't know this. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time is Triple H, right? Um, so WrestleMania 28, Triple H and The Undertaker. I absolutely love that match. Just the one where at the end, you know, Sean was the guest referee. At the end, they're all on the stage and they kind of do their farewell together. I that was that was a moment for me. So that match has always been one of my favorites. Awesome. Delicia, what about you? Well, Will literally took the one I was going to say. (laughs) 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 Um, uh, Those three guys were the reason why I started watching wrestling. Um, And I got maybe that shows my age. Uh, But but also, a lot of these, the matches during that time up until like the mid 2020 or early 20s, like up until the 2010s. I feel like I couldn't appreciate because I because I was so young, um, especially like you said the Shawn Michaels, I mean the Triple H versus Undertaker with the Shawn Michaels special guest referee. Um, I feel like I didn't appreciate that match as I sh- as I could have knowing what I know now and things like that. Um, but I will say as a secondary one, especially now as older, um, Sasha versus Bianca a few years ago main eventing. WrestleMania, um, again, as two black women, as just two women um, who who also have, one, they paid away for this generation, so to speak, of like wrestlers who are wrestling now, and also paving, all, never shying away from paving the way, uh, for the people, for the women who paved the way before them, but that night, that match has meant so much too, for so many reasons, and it, it was a damn good match that um, it, it will forever be one of my favorite matches ever um but like i said if i couldn't take the tag match that would be another one of my favorite matches of wrestling awesome awesome well it has been a pleasure hanging out with all of you um wrestlemania is gonna start and we're gonna get out of here early just because you know delicia's gonna get some rest and she's because she's gonna be up all night with her and her daughter watching wrestlemania big reg he gotta get the family ready and you know and hopefully teach connecticut how to set proper screens and he's got his kids, um, and Will he's gonna he's gonna game a little bit before before the WrestleMania comes on, and I'm gonna get some food and relax, and we're gonna enjoy this this WrestleMania, and hopefully, 
is going to be awesome. Now, I know some of us will be doing streams afterwards. I know some of us will be doing Monday streams. Um, so uh, before we get out of here, each of you, I want everyone to let want you to let everybody know where they can find you, where they can find your content. And if you will be doing a, um, a, a WrestleMania stream uh, uh, coming up, uh, talking about it. So, Alicia, ooh, ooh, I know. ooh, ooh, she... She, you know, that, that's what's great about kids, man. They'll just cough all over you just for no reason, just blow their nose yeah. and wipe it on you. You're just like, I, I gotta do it. Yeah, she took my Delisha. water bottle, so she can have it now. <laughs> Delisha, where can the people find you and all your great content? Yes, uh, you can find me at Delisha Renee TV on Instagram and on YouTube, where my main my main channel is focusing on motherhood recipes and just lifestyle in general. But you can also catch me every Monday after PLEs on the King Slayer Network for After Matt, where we talk about said PLE, and we will definitely be recapping night one and two of Mania. So if you want to join us tomorrow, grab some snacks, grab a drink, because it's going <laughs> to we're going to have a lot to talk about. For sure. And I, and I don't like to put people's personal business out there, but I, I'm going to do it right now. I want to say congratulations to Delisha. I've known her for a couple years now. Um, and when she had first told me she was pregnant with her daughter, she was so excited. And now she's having another one. And I am so excited for you, Delisha. Congratulations. I, I, you. God bless to you. you and your husband. Um, so happy for you because we've known each other now probably like three years, four years. And um, it's been awesome to uh, watch your journey as you became a mother and all your great content and just how happy you were. Because I remember you telling me how excited you were to be a mom. And now you're going to have two of them. So, I know. I know. Uh, you know I, I appreciate you, it. Thanks. <laughs> So it's, it's it's awesome. Make sure to check out her content. Make sure to check out her um, Instagram. She has a bunch of good stuff on there. She real inspirational. She's great. Uh, appreciate you being here, Delisha. Really appreciate you. Big Reg, uh, living big with Red Red. Big Reg, the the Yukon specialist. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna be busting your busting your chops for like a year now, just bringing that up. <laughs> I mean, you hey, you you got the final you got the final laugh. You know, she lost. I will lost. You know, so you you can just throw it in my face. It's okay. There's no, there's no <laughs> ill will towards Iowa, and I, I'm gonna be honest with you. The whole thing with me, I just have a strong hate for referees. Right? It doesn't matter right. the team or the sport. I swear, this is just me. And I go. This happens every game. I don't know if you remember a couple of years back. I think it was the Eagles versus Cowboys. I'm not sure, but the Eagles had a guy wide open deep. The referee trips the receiver. The ball ends up incomplete. Philly loses the game. I went off. I, I don't like either of the teams, but I absolutely snapped. It was like, why are they there? I, I was just going off. So that's just me. I just have a hatred for referees. Okay. No, I get so it. I get that's it. Problem. <laughs> yeah, but that's you know us. Problem. We like we we like to we like to mess with each other when it comes to sports. Yes, like we, yes, we you know, but but it's nothing but love. Uh, but big red, just let everybody know where they can find you and your and your um your uh great content because i know you got some good stuff coming up yeah real quick uh people are so hyped about iowa losing i don't get it. first off and this is way off topic i apologize but we'll go out, we'll talk about it right now um south carolina got some big ass girls man them girl home girl from brazil was six seven and the yeah. biggest person in iowa was six two there's a big difference okay not only that the rest of the crew we're, we're, we're big, fast, strong, and they can shoot the ball. Um, Iowa just – look at just – Iowa just couldn't – it was Caitlin Clark and nobody else. You know, and everyone wants to hate on her, and it's fine. Hey, she made it to, new, to, to national championship games. Nothing but love to her. You know, Iowa did the same. It is what it is. She's going to go on to WNBA. She's making money. You know, but here's the problem. Are we going to be talking about the NCAA Women's Tournament next year? Probably not, because we're losing a lot of the stars. All of, all of them are going to the WNBA. We're probably going to be talking about WNBA more. Um, but it is what it is. And, you know, like Brazel said, he said, I told UConn was going down. Hater, huh? Hater, Big Reg. That's he, your, your co-host. Too late, though. He he was around too late. He said we was going down a couple rounds ago. Like, don't don't listen to Bazel. He he don't know what he's talking about. He should be throwing but stuff Reg, out there to try to get that negative energy. <laughs> Reg, let let the let the people know where they can find you at and all your great content. Uh, big Reg, right here on YouTube. I took off the living big with, um, because I I knew I was going to be switching up the content a little bit. So Big Reg here on YouTube It's still living big with Big Reg on TikTok. 
and X. I'll be changing those at some point. I don't know when. But um, that's pretty much it. Oh, and check out Etsy.com. You see it under the name. Etsy.com forward slash living big with big reds. Go get you some merch. There you go. There you go. Make sure to check that out. Will, Will oh, Firefox. Where can the people find your great content? And we're gonna, when are they going to find us playing some Fortnite together? Because are you a build or no build person? I'm a no build person. Okay, we can play together then. Because I am. I, I do. I do. For, I do. For, I do Fortnite on Tuesday. So I'll be there on Tuesday. Because I do. I'll be doing Fortnite on Tuesday, starting around noon Eastern time, going to about okay. six. So if you want to join in at all, just pop in the chat and let me know. No, as long yep, as I have open sure. spots, I'll be sure to bring you in. Uh, but you can find me over on YouTube at Willow Firefox, so as well as Twitch. I stream games such as Fortnite, uh, Power Watch Simulator, WWE 2K24. I'll be doing Persona 5 Royale tomorrow. Continue my let's play on that. That, if you want to talk wrestling or anything in my chat, you're more than welcome to come in and I'll interact with you. Yeah, I thank you for having me here. Yeah, I appreciate it. Once again, I appreciate all of you jumping on. Uh, I really appreciate you, Will, last night jumping on with me and recapping night one. It was an awesome time. Big Reg, obviously, talking wrestling with you and talking anything with you is always a pleasure. And Delisha, always getting to talk to you and hang out with you is a pleasure. I, I appreciate all of you uh, and everybody in the chat. Brandon Mazel, Jeremy Miller, um, uh, Ziku Kage, anybody else at Jared, um, uh, Ryan C., Everybody that jumped in, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, I hope you enjoy WrestleMania. I hope that um, it, it gives you everything you want and reminds us that, you know, we, we just like to have a good time and we want to be entertained. And that too, yes, we agree with that. Um, and you can find me here, Shugnight323 on YouTube, TikTok, and Twitter, and Shugnight1323 on Twitch where I'm usually playing uh, Fortnite, Magic the Gathering, or whatever I feel like playing. <laughs> and also to uh, Steel Conspiracy. We'll be coming back at some point. I just got to figure out a date right now because my daughter is currently playing softball. And she is, um, you know, I have to be at her game. So once we figure it out, but we should be back for the draft. I know Big Reg is excited about the draft and who the Ravens are not going to draft. Um, <laughs> y'all gonna draft defense, you know it, Reg. You know it, you already know. Um, but once again, I appreciate everybody hanging out. I hope you I hope you have a good night. Happy WrestleMania Sunday. Have a good one. Talk to y'all later. Thanks for having me.